All right, this is part two of our lesson on adding and subtracting rational expressions with unlike denominators. Now, these ones are simple. The, uh, it doesn't involve any factoring other than doing the GCF. So we will have uh, another lesson that involves more complex factoring and such um, coming up soon. OK. Now, um, we want like denominators. This side has a 6. This side has a 5. Um, if we multiply by 6, then they'll both be 30. Why did I put a 3? I don't know. If I multiply this side by 6, I'll have 30. I'll need to do the same thing in the top. Um, to make this side 30, I'll have to multiply by 5 in the top and the bottom. Now they're both 30. This side has x squared, so this side is now x squared. Have to make that change in the top and the bottom. This side has a y, so I'll have to give this side a y in the top and the bottom. Now they are both 30 x squared y. 30 x squared y. Now that I have like denominators, I can put them together. 30x squared y. Now, in the numerator here, I have 30x minus 18. Now, I have a y and another y. So that's y squared. I'm going to do alphabetic order there. So that'll be x squared, y squared. Now, again, when we are only talking about GCF, um, common factors. I believe the easiest thing to do, hold on, I believe the easiest thing to do is um, to ask ourselves, is there anything common to all three terms? If there is, we'll divide by that, um, the greatest common factor. They're all divisible by three. All these are divisible by three. Um, but they are also all divisible by 6. So um, that's the greater factor. So let's divide by 6. Also, they all have x in common. So let's divide everything by 6x. OK, is one way to think about it. If we do that, this is what we get. Um, dividing by 6x, this will be 5, all right? 30 divided by 6 is 5. And uh, dividing by x will um, reduce each one of these uh, by x. You know, each one will have one less x than it had before because we're canceling out one of the x's when we divide. So this only had one x, so now it will have zero x's. Um, 18 divided by 6 is 3. Uh, one less x gives us x. And then nothing's happening to the y's. 30 divided by 6, again, is 5. 1 less x leaves us with x, and nothing happens to the y. So notice, uh, as we glance one more time to make sure, um, there's nothing that will factor, and there are n there's no common factor shared by all three. Notice I cannot cancel out these fives uh, because they are connected by um, subtraction. I cannot cancel out these x's either for the same reason. Um, I can only do what I did because I did it to all three, all or nothing. Um, but this is the answer. OK, how about number 10? Well, my friend. Hmm, it's kind of the same thing. Um, this one needs a 6, top and bottom. This one needs a 5, top and bottom. OK, now they're both 30. But this side needs an x, top and bottom. Now they're both 30x. Once I have like denominators, I can go ahead and subtract. So my like denominator is 30x. 6 times 4 is 24. So I have 24x squared minus 2x. Now, what do all three of these have in common? Um, they all have 2x in common. That's the GCF. They're all divisible by 2, 
and they all have an x. So dividing by 2 is obvious, uh, but understand dividing by x will leave each term with one less x than it has now. So that's why uh, the answer will be 12x minus 1. Okay, 2x divided by 2x. Anything divided by itself is going to be 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1 um, over 15. Okay, notice each term has one less x than it had before. 2x becomes 1. 1x becomes none. 1x becomes none. And of course, these are all divided by 2. And that's it. That's all you can do. Notice that you cannot divide these by 3. Okay, it's all three terms or nothing. Um, now, number 11. Okay, this side is going to need a 5 to be like that. This side is going to need a 2. Okay, got to do it to the top and the bottom. This side has a V, so I'm going to have to give this side a V in the top and the bottom. Now the denominators are the same, 10V, 10V. So I can go ahead and subtract using the 10V denominator. Um, now, here I have 15UV minus 10u. Now, is there anything common to all three? Yes, um, they are all divisible by 5. They don't have any variables in common though, so only 5. So if I divide each of these by 5, I will arrive at my final answer. All right, so 15 divided by 5, so I will have 3 uv. 10 divided by 5, so 2u over 2v. This will be the final answer. Nothing left to factor, no GCF. Um, notice the numerator has a GCF of u. So I could pull that off to the side, leaving 3v minus 2 over 2v. But, um, you know, there's nothing to cancel or anything. So um, it's really equivalent to what we had before. Um, so either one of these is acceptable, but the first one that we had was just fine. All right, number 12. All right, we've got a lot of sixes and fives going on. Hmm. It's interesting because um, I really could cancel out these sixes right now and just leave x. That would make this whole problem a little simpler. Um, but I won't do that for some reason. I'm just going to stick to the program. So um, this one needs a 5, so I'm going to give it a 5 in the top and the bottom. And uh, so I'll give this one a 6 in the top and the bottom. Now they're both 30. Um, this has a Y though, so I'll give it a Y in the top and the bottom. Okay, if I do that, then what I have now is um, 36X, okay, plus 30XY. Okay, over 30Y. Both of these are 30Y. Okay, now all of these have something in common. They are all divisible by 6. Okay, that's the GCF of all three terms, right? The heart means all three are nothing. Um, so I'll divide all these by 6. And uh, so that's going to give me 5x. Uh, sorry. That is not a 30, that's a 36. So that's going to give me 6x plus 5xy over 5y. Now this will be the final answer. Um, yes, there's still a GCF in the numerator. Okay, they both share an x. So yes, I could pull out the x and have um, 6 plus 5y 
over 5y. But since nothing will cancel out or anything, I might as well have left it like this. But I would accept either answer. Okay, that was number 12. Let's go on to number 13. Okay, so we're so close. They both have 5, so this side just needs a b. All right, now they're the same, so I can go ahead and put them together. I can go ahead and subtract. So I'll have 2a minus 2b over 5b. Now, is there anything uh, common to all three terms? No. So that means this is really the final answer. OK, now if you wanted to pull out that um, common 2, and write this as 2 times a minus b over 5b. You could do that. That's fine. Uh, but you don't need to, since nothing cancels. All right, look at number 14. Um, I will multiply this side by 4. OK. And I'll multiply this side by 5. All right, now they're both 20. Um, but this side has an x squared that this side doesn't have. Now they both have x squared. But this side has a y squared. All right, so now they are both essentially 20 x squared, y squared. 20 x squared, y squared. Now that I have like denominator, I can go ahead and add. So here I have 24 x squared y, always go alphabetical. And uh, here I have 30 x y squared. And of course, that's over the common denominator of 20 x squared y squared. So now, we ask ourselves, is there something that all three terms have in common? In other words, what is the GCF of all three terms? Well, looking at the numbers, 24, 30, 20, see, they're all divisible by 2. All right, I'm looking at 20 in particular. That's 2 and 5 and 10 and 20. Um, I, only 2 is divisible um, into all three numbers. So um, number-wise, 2 is the GCF. Now as far as variables, they all have at least one x, and they all have at least one y. Okay, so I'm going to divide all three terms by 2xy. Dividing by 2 is obvious. All right, Dividing by x means that each term will have one less x than it has now. Dividing by y means each term will have one less y than it has now. OK, so that will bring me to the final answer. OK, um, that will be 12, right, dividing by 2. One less x means x. One less y means no y. Dividing by 2 means 15. One less x means no x's. One less y means y. Dividing by 2 means 10. 1 less x means x. And 1 less y means y. So this will be the final answer. Notice there's nothing left that will divide into all three. There's no variable left that's present in all three terms. OK? Um, yes, these both have a 3 in common. So if you, for some reason, just wanted to factor out the 3, that would leave you with 4x plus 5y over 10xy. But there would be nothing to cancel, so you might as well have left it. OK, how about 15? They both have 5. So this side just needs a y in the top and the bottom. 
Now they are the same, 5y, 5y. So I'll use that common denominator. So I have 2xy plus 5. Now, what is common to all three terms? <laughs> Nothing. Um, so that means this is the final answer. And uh, that is the last problem on this lesson. So um, I'm going to end this video, of course. So I hope this lesson has been helpful. I will see you on the next video.